so now today i am starting with the new formalism that is relativistic quantum mechanics and first attempt were made by klein gordon and after that second attempt was made by dirac so this, there is one approach is the klein gordon formulation and it is the dirac formulation so in this lecture i am going to talk about klein gordon formulation and this klein gordon formulation is successful to explain the system having integral spin but not successful to explain the system having half integral spin so in this lecture i will talk about that how a schrodinger wave equation can be modified by incorporating four momentum into it and uh, this will become a relativistic klein gordon equation so for this let us consider that time dependent schrodinger equation as we know that at psi where psi is a function of x and t or r and t and it is e psi x t and uh, where energy is can be expressed in the terms of uh, energy operator e iota h cross curly over curly t where h is the hamiltonian it is the sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy operator so kinetic energy is basically p square by 2m and it is vx cuz it's a one dimensional wave function i am considering just for the sake of simplicity and if it is three dimensional then i can write down it as psi rt is equal to e psi rt right so let me put their values so it is p square by 2m but p operator is minus iota h cross del it is the momentum operator so if i use its value here then it will become minus h cross square del square plus p r or uh, because it is if it is three dimensional so it is r right so that's what i am getting so if i put these values here then this equation will become minus h cross square 2m not because m not is the rest mass i am considering the rest mass here and del square plus v r and it is psi r t is equal to iota h cross curly over curly t psi r t that's what i am doing here so this is our time dependent schrodinger wave equation and this is the non relativistic right this is non relativistic but here if i try to look at this so in this part it's basically 
momentum square is sitting here and energy is sitting in this case and if we recall uh because it's a momentum square and something potential energy term is there and it is equivalent to something like energy so it's like a situation that momentum square is equivalent to energy and if i recall uh, the relationship that is uh, p square or if i recall p mu p mu it's for momentum it's equivalent to momentum square or uh, it is e square c square minus p dot p and it is equal to m not square c square means momentum square is equivalent to m not c square and uh, it's also equivalent to energy like term it's not exactly energy but it is something like that as a, as we know that m not c square is the energy so if i try to look at this m not is sitting here this m not is sitting here this m not right so if i go, it go goes to here so that means uh, in this case it is p square by m not i ignored this too and in this case it is energy and if this goes to here then it is p square is equivalent to m not into energy like term right so these things will gives me idea that if i express the things in terms of momentum operator then i can relate and it's a four momentum momentum operator but momentum can be expressed in the form of a four momentum operator not simply momentum right then there is a possibility Uh, that uh, we can derive the relativistic form of schrodinger wave equation and that relativistic formulation of schrodinger wave equation is known as klein cordon equation that's what klein and cordon did right so to incorporate relativity into the schrodinger wave equation let us recall for momentum and express this for momentum in the form of operator because in quantum mechanics we have to talk in terms of operator so four momentum operator is a very important idea and why we are doing quantum mechanics sorry uh, why do we need this here the reason behind that that in quantum mechanics we have to deal with the microscopic particles like electron and they move with a very large velocity and that velocity is comparable to that of speed of light that's why incorporation of relativity is very important in quantum mechanics so let me recall p mu is e upon c it is p x p y or p z and let me express this in terms of operator so for momentum operator is iota h cross curly over curly x mu and this is equivalent to iota h cross over curly over curly ct comma minus iota h cross curly over curly x comma 
माइनस आयोटा एच क्रॉस करली ओवर करली बाई कॉमा माइनस आयोटा एच क्रॉस करली ओवर करली दैट्स व्हाट आई हैव डिट हियर एंड इफ यू ट्राई टू लुक एट इट एंड देन आयोटा एच क्रॉस कैन बी टेकन आउटसाइड सो इट इज करली ओवर करली सी टी कॉमा माइनस कर ली ओवर कर ली एक्स कॉमा माइनस कर ली ओवर कर ली वाई माइनस कर ली ओवर कर ली जेड सो आई एम एक्सप्रेसिंग इट इन दिस वे सो इट्स इक्वल टू आयोटा एच क्रॉस कर ली ओवर कर ली सी टी कॉमा माइनस डेल ऑपरेटर दैट्स व्हाट आई एम गेटिंग हियर also because i need square so for that p mu p mu it can be in the operator form it can be written i am writing it directly minus h cross square curly over curly x mu curly over curly x mu and it can be written as minus h cross square 1 by c square curly square over करली टी स्क्वेर कॉमा माइनस करली स्क्वेर ओवर करली एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस करली स्क्वेर ओवर करली वाई स्क्वेर प्लस करली स्क्वेर ओवर करली जेड स्क्वेर राइट सो इफ आई डू दिस देन दिस इज सिंपली रिटर्न एज माइनस एच क्रॉस स्क्वेर वन बाई सी स्क्वेर करली स्क्वेर ओवर करली टी स्क्वेर कॉमा माइनस डेल स्क्वेर right and in the form of dlm bertian this can be written like this so this whole of the term is known as del square and sometimes this minus del square is replaced by nebula or simply delta it is known as delta operator this minus del square is sorry del square is minus del square is represented by minus delta operator means del square is simply uh, delta and this whole term is basically dlm bertian thus we have expressed momentum in this form but if i recall the relationship that uh, this p mu p mu is without operator it is e square by c square minus p dot p this is the factor and it is m not square c square that means if i express in the form of operator here if i use operators here then if i am using operator that means i have to operate both sides with the psi is a wave function right so that means this equation is known as klein cordon equation this is known as klein cordon equation and we can make it more simplified now by doing little more algebra so if i put its value from above so its value is minus h cross square dlm bertian psi is equal to m not square c square psi so taking this towards that side and uh, then it can be written as del sorry dlm bertian m not square c square over h cross square and its psi is equal to and if i put its value it is curly square c square curly t square comma minus curly square minus x square minus curly square curly by square comma माइनस करली स्क्वेर करली जेड स्क्वेर 
simply doing here mat minus here minus here minus plus m not square c square over h cross square i can write either way so this must be equal to zero so these one and two equations are collectively known as klein coordinate equation so thus it's a very simple trick which we have used here to convert the schrodinger wave equation into klein coordinate equation right so that's all for this lecture thanks for watching this